Boolean algebra and truth tables. I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk you through creating a Boolean algebra expression from a truth table and creating a truth table from a Boolean expression. So first of all, the rule about a Boolean expression, it just tells you the combination of inputs that give a one at the output. Let's take this one as the first example. You recognize this as an AND gate. Now to get a one at the output, you need both inputs to be high. The way that we write this down, we just say B and A. B is high and A is high. And to write the Boolean expression, we just write Q equals B and A. So Q is high when B is high and A is high. Second example. What we've got now is B is low and A is high. When that's the case, Q will be high. And the way that we write this, because B is low, we need to put it through a NOT gate. So we just write NOT B and A. So the Boolean expression tells us that Q is high when B is low and A is high. Next example. Now this time we've got twice the output is going to be high. So what we do is we write down as before, we write down the expression for each of these. So B is low, A is high. And on this one, B is high and A is low. To write down the Boolean expression for Q, what we do is we get these two expressions and all them together. So we end up with Q is high when B is low and A is high, or when B is high and A is low. Example 4, now we've got a longer truth table here, more inputs, and what we're going to do is we're going to identify when the output's high. So this time we've got C is low, B is high, A is high. C is low, B is A, uh, B is high, A is high. Next one, we've got C is high, B low, A high. And again, we're denoting that B is low with a bar over the top there. And then on the bottom one, all three are high, so we just write it as C and B and A. And again, what we do for the Boolean expression is just all these three together. And there we go. So that's the top expression, that's the second expression, and that's the third expression. I've put these in brackets it just helps me see where they come from. Now the next example, we've got a Boolean expression and we want to make the truth table for that. So what we've got to do first of all is identify from each of these terms here. So we're going to look at this one first. C is high and A is low, which happens here. C is high, A is low. And it also happens here. C is high, A is low. So we put ones in these positions on the truth table. Then we look at the other expression here that we've got. C is low, B is high, A is high, and we see that that is here. So C is low, B and A are both high, so we put a 1 there. And then what we've got to do to complete the truth table, this is, these are the only positions where we're going to get 1s, so to complete the truth table we'll just put noughts everywhere else.